Hello, good folks. Ever looked at your paycheck and thought, I wish I had a magic wand to increase this number? Well, guess what? You do. It's called salary negotiation, and it's a crucial skill that can significantly impact your earnings. Today, we're going to explore six tips to ace this art, from doing your homework to perfecting your timing and confidence, all the way to the negotiation table itself. So buckle up, we're about to dive into the sea of salary negotiations. But before we do, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. You wouldn't want to miss out on all our future career hacks, would you? Now, you wouldn't walk into a lion's den without a plan, would you? The same applies to salary negotiations. Before you take a seat at the negotiating table, it's crucial to have a firm grasp on some key facts. Picture this. You're a detective, and your mission is to uncover the industry standards. You're searching for the salary range for your role, and digging into the company's financial standing. Why, you ask? Well, imagine trying to buy a house without knowing the going rates in the neighborhood. You might end up accepting an offer that's way below market value. Same goes for your salary. So, don your detective hat and get to work. Explore job boards, company websites, and networking events. And don't forget to pick the brains of people in similar roles. Remember, knowledge is power, and in this case, it could also mean a few extra bucks in your pocket. So, you've done your research. But, when do you pop the question? During the interview? On your first day? At the company's Christmas party? Timing, my friends, is a subtle art, not unlike trying to catch a fly with chopsticks. You see, there's a sweet spot. Not too early, not too late. It's like trying to bake the perfect souffle. Take it out too soon, it's all runny and raw. Leave it in too long, it's burnt, and your kitchen probably smells like defeat. The best time to negotiate your salary is, drumroll please, after you've received a job offer. Yes, that's right. After they've decided they want you on their team. It's like being asked to the prom and then negotiating the color of your corsage. Another good time, during your performance review, it's like showing off your report card and then asking for a bigger allowance. So, no, the company's Christmas party is not the best time to negotiate your salary, no matter how much eggnog you've had. Ever heard the saying, fake it till you make it? Well, that's your mantra for salary negotiations. Confidence and assertiveness are key in these situations. Picture this. You're at a poker table, your hand is full of aces, but you're sweating like you've just run a marathon. Your opponents are going to smell that fear a mile off and trust me, you're not walking away with the pot. It's the same with salary negotiations. If you're uncertain or seem too desperate, it's game over. You're not doing a rain dance hoping for a salary shower. You're a professional with skills and experience who deserves proper remuneration. So, don't shuffle in there like a kid on the first day of school. Stride in like you own the place. Make your case firmly, clearly, and assertively. Remember, confidence doesn't mean arrogance. It's about knowing your worth and standing your ground. So, put on your best confident face. Remember, you're not begging for charity, you're negotiating your worth. All right, folks, it's showtime. Time to put your research, timing, and confidence to good use. Let's dive right into the deep end of the salary negotiation pool. So, you're sat across the table from your potential employer or possibly on a video call, and it's time to talk numbers. Remember, this is not a battle, it's a conversation, a slightly nerve-wracking conversation, sure, but just a conversation nonetheless. First things first, be clear about your expectations. This is not the time to be as mysterious as the Bermuda Triangle. Say it out loud, with conviction. But remember, don't let your requests sound like a demand or they might think you're trying to rob a bank, not negotiate a salary. Now you need to keep your cool. Picture yourself as a cucumber. Why a cucumber, you ask? Well, because you need to be as cool as one. Even if the employer's counteroffer makes you want to jump out of your seat and yell bingo, keep that poker face on. Next, be ready to compromise. You're not buying a used car here, you're setting the terms of your employment. So, if they can't meet your exact number, don't shut down faster than a laptop with a dead battery. Consider other perks or benefits they might offer. Maybe they can't give you the salary you want, but they can offer you a corner office with a view of the park. Not too shabby, right? Remember, the key to a successful negotiation is communication, not confrontation. Keep the conversation light and friendly. You know, like chatting about the weather with your neighbor just with a few more zeros involved. And finally, don't forget to breathe. Yes, breathe. It's easy to forget when you're talking about money, but trust me, it helps. And just like that, you've successfully negotiated your salary. Now, wasn't that easier than trying to figure out how to pronounce Worcestershire? Well, there you have it, folks six tips to help you navigate the high seas of salary negotiation. 
We've sailed through the importance of pre-negotiation research, the art of timing, and the power of confidence and assertiveness. We've also tackled the negotiation itself, demystifying its challenges. With these tips, we hope your next paycheck will make you smile wider than a kid in a candy store. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more career-boosting tips. Remember your worth is negotiable but our content is priceless.